Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are grubbing down on some good old, I guess, barbecue food if you want to call it. I don't know. It's a little concoction I put together. Whatever I had left. Like, you know, trying to clean out whatever's in the fridge and the freezer. Um, so we have a quarter pound hot dog from Costco's. If you know Costco hot dogs, you know they're chef's kiss um some barbecue chicken and then just some fries uh if you're new to my channel welcome to the fan bam lovey don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that post notification and a uh, mama jumbo let's get down to the nitty gritty because there is a lot to catch you guys up on um but first we're gonna take a couple of bites because this hot dog oh i've been craving it i let me give you a close-up of this puppy don't judge my bread, okay? My bread got a little burnt, but I scraped it off. Should be good. Um, I put cheese, ketchup. Yes, I put cheese on my hot dog. If you've never done it, try it. It is. It takes it to another level. Um, cheese, ketchup, mayo, and jalapeno. Mayo? No, mustard. That's what I meant. Ketchup and mustard, and jalapenos, cause why not go for a little spicy and the air fryer if you put it in the i mean the hot dog if you put it in the air fryer it's so bomb so i'll give you guys the first bite mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. wow that's good Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. So good. I actually have, ooh. Sweet and sour. For the fries. <clears throat> If you hear my voice, <laughs> I'm trying to get it back, but this weekend was real. There's been so much going on, obviously. Wait, let's take a bite of this chicken because look at that. Like, look at the glisten. Mm. Mm hmm. That was a savage bite. But it was worth it. I had a lot going on last week. I wasn't able to post because I've had a problem in my room for the past I don't know how many years. Something with the wall outside. It was leaking by the window. A whole debacle. They fixed it. It wasn't done right. They had to hire other people to come and do it right. It wasn't just us. It was like the whole line of people. Long story short, they finally fixed the outside, so now they can fix the inside because the inside, the paint was, like, 
you know, a whole mess. Falling apart, bubbled up. That's just do this whole thing. Well, we forgot <clears throat> that they were coming. My cat is trying. We forgot they were coming because you had to like be scheduled in like three months in advance or some shit like that. So we had to move the stuff around in the room, obviously, so they could work. So we're only, I only have access to half of the room. <laughs> the other half is obviously under renovation, but that was last week. And then I wasn't able to leave because someone had to be here. And um, I couldn't film here because obviously they were making noise. And it was just a mess. Then we planned a girls weekend in Atlantic City. Planned this a while ago. So that just so happened to hit too. So Atlantic City was crazy, obviously, you could tell. There was a lot of drinking, a lot of gambling, a lot of partying. And when I tell you guys, I'm not like cut out for that lifestyle anymore. Hmm. I am really not cut out for that lifestyle anymore. I think I slept like a total of 10 hours that whole trip. Mind you, we just came back yesterday. Today is Monday. By the time you guys see this, is Tuesday. And... I think I slept like 10 hours total from Friday to yesterday. Um, I'm so like particular. I have like my OCD. So I have to like stay on my schedule. So today I was literally back up at 5.30. <clears throat> ready to continue the week do my routine work out clean up shower Jay, back to the grind back to the grind but it's good to be back This is H2O for those of you who know. Which I slacked on water this weekend. That I feel like I need to drink gallons of water to catch up. <sighs> but all in all. It was a blast. If you follow me on IG, you saw some content. If you do not, you should be following me so you don't miss out on anything. Um, if you don't know, my sister got engaged. My older sister got engaged. So we were like out celebrating that. 
Um, yeah, it was just really a good time. Like, you know, when you, like, find a group of friends who you guys have kind of, like, the same mentality, like, you know, everyone, like, chips in, everyone has a blast, you know, you guys just have, like, a good time. We laughed so much. I won money. I lost money. I won money. I lost money. <laughs> it was a roller coaster. But, 10 out of 10 recommend. Grab a group of friends. Um, go to AC for the weekend. It's it's fun. We stayed at the Harris. Um, which was nice. I've stayed at Ocean before, and I stayed at the Borgata before. All really. Really nice. We did dinner at Carmine's. We did a comedy show. We went to the pool after dark. Lots of gambling, like I said. Mm. Lots of drinking. Like, my face still looks swollen from how much drinking. It was a little chilly, but, so we didn't go on the boardwalk or anything, but, ten out of ten, recommend. I played... My all-time favorite game. I love playing slots. I don't care what anybody says. I know people are like, mm, slots isn't really gambling. Yes, it is. If I'm putting my money, it's gambling. I love me some slots. But roulette... Um, Spanish 21, top tier. To me, Spanish 21 is better than Blackjack because they're a little more lenient on the rules. But, sad, sad. Oh, and I just, my little sister taught me how to play Baccarat. Which is pretty cool too. Pretty easy. I mean, there's a 50 50 chance. But <clears throat> a lot of anxiety because, you know, if you get it wrong, you should have been like, oh my god, I should have done, should have picked the other one. But that's what gambling is about. You win some, you lose some. And people are like, oh my god, on slots, you don't win anything. Mm -mm. Sir, please, thank you. My cat. People say on slots, you don't win anything, but it depends how much you bet. I won the first night. I put in $40. Um, I was doing the max bet of $8.80 on that machine. And I walked away with five hundred ninety-two dollars. No, not five hundred ninety-two. Five hundred fifty something. Five hundred fifty-four, I think, something like that. But I mean, hello, off of forty dollars, so my profit was five hundred. Let's just say five hundred dollars. 
pretty, pretty good. Then, the second night, I put in $80 and walked away <coughs> with $392. And I decided to walk away because this old lady was sitting next to me and she was grilling me because I was winning. Like, I guess that's why I like to put the machine on really low so that you don't call attention because in, in like casinos and gambling and stuff there's like a lot of envious people and they just give you like the evil eye you know so she was there i felt her she had bombastic side eye <laughs> when my machine was going off so i was like you know what let me cash out because she's gonna make me lose it all. And that's exactly what I did. And then we up. I put in a hundred. Um I ended up, I was winning, and then I was losing, and then I ended up walking away with, like, something else, so I lost 30, and then I went to go play Spanish 21, and we sat at that Spanish 21, like, you get lost with time in casinos. We ended up staying there for three hours. I started with a hundred, and at one point, I was up to like two fifty. So I more than doubled what I started with. But then, because we stayed there so long, I ended up losing it all. <laughs> but that's what it's about. You win some, you lose some. But the memories is what counts. But we back, baby. We back like we never left. And we're going to keep doing it. All right, my lovies. Don't forget, give this video two big thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to join the fam bam. And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats.